By the end of this video, you'll know all about Halo Infinite's weapons, equipment, and grenades with some tips along the way. Earth Toaster Ghost, your friend the neighborhood synth lord here. So on Monday, they released Halo Infinite multiplayer beta. If you're wondering about my experiences, so far it's great with a couple of oofs. First, progression is slow, which second, there's no choice of what game modes you want to play. And the battle pass, credit rewards for some levels. If you are unfamiliar with battle passes, most will have premium currency rewards so you can buy the next battle pass. As an ex-Fortnite player I'm, and an Apex player, I'm used to premium currency in the battle pass. But Halo's battle pass doesn't. I'm going to interrupt myself here. Halo's battle pass lasts forever, so I guess that might be just, but you don't need to buy it. I don't like it, so I won't, probably won't buy it unless they fix the whole progression thing. Experience out of the way right now, Halo Infinite has its fair share of new weapons, old weapons, that have not changed all that much, and old weapons have changed very much. Before we get into the video, if you find Destiny 2 Halo informational videos like this helpful, then subscribe for more videos like these. We will start off with the weapons, explaining them, equipment, and finishing off with the grenades. Buckle up, Spartan. This is a live fire exercise. Make sure to keep your helmet on and teabag all your opponents. Now, we're starting off with the weapons. First, the Assault Rifle, a standard Halo weapon in all games besides Halo 2. It wasn't always that good, but now it is a really good gun. A weapon able to get an easy kill, and along with its other standard weapon, the Pistol, or Sidekick as it is called in this version. Pistol of Infinite is way different from has one thing always the same. Land a headshot on an unshielded guy, and they will die. And that's basically how this pistol goes. Next is the Battle Rifle, a burst rifle, good for medium range. Take down a guy pretty quickly, and when an enemy is unshielded, you can hit the head for the kill. The Cinder Shot is a grenade launcher that can fire in two modes, one that is a regular shot where, and one where you can control it. You can use the control mode to hit behind corners, or Bulldog is a shotgun, this is a shotgun using in close range is optimal, and you want to hit all the pellets. The Disruptor is a full auto pistol that shocks people and does damage over time. The Heat Wave is a shotgun-like weapon that fires projectiles that bounce balls. The gun has two modes, horizontal and vertical. Horizontal seems better for hitting groups or vehicles, and vertical seems better for hitting individual targets. Hydra is a rocket launcher that can fire a regular shot that just shoot it and boom. But if you ADS, then you're able to lock onto targets, which takes a little bit of time. Our next weapon, the Mangler, is like a high impact pistol, somewhat like the Wingman from Apex Legends. It is projectile, I think, because it fires spikes. Needle is an old weapon that's pretty much remained the same across all halos. It fires tracking needles, and when enough hit the target, they explode into a pink mist. Plasma pistol is another weapon of ye old halo. This weapon fires plasma projectile shots that are good at stripping enemy shields, and the charge of the plasma pistol can immediately deplete the enemy's shield, making them vulnerable to a headshot. Both carbines a plasma projectile version of the battle rifle that tracks enemies. It is much more difficult to use than the battle rifle, but can hit like a train. Ravager is a brute weapon that fires a burst of plasma. You can also fire a charged AoE pool that ravages. Ah, see what I did there? Enemy's health, and it's a brute weapon, so it can do a bit more melee damage because it has a little blade thingy on it. Sniper is our usual Halo sniper. A uh, shot to the body breaks the shield, the shot to the head is a kill. no Beam is a weapon that had some changes from its original form. First, it can pierce through enemies. Second, it has a high recoil, but it can rip shield easily. And third, it has ammo. The shock rifle is a sniper-like weapon and does chain lightning damage to people around the person who got shot by this weapon, and it can disable vehicles too. Same thing goes for the Disruptor. Skiri is a weapon with a spike in it. It only has one shot before needing to be reloaded, and one shot the guy being hit, and it's also a projectile, so try to lead your shot. Remember speed. The stalker rifle for me is a weaker beam rifle, but I've now been seeing some more similarities to the carbine, and you can zoom in in like a sniper rifle, so it's kind of like a combination of carbine and the beam. Now let's hope in the campaign there aren't jaggles using this gun, because we all know what happens next. We'll play this gun like it's a sniper, but remember, no one shot kills, sadly. The commando is a high impact precision automatic rifle. This gun is hard to use with the recoil, but pays off if you can hit your shots. My suggestion is aim for the body, and then since the recoil is going to make it go up, when the shields are depleted, you can hit the head. But I'm not really good at it so far, so it do your thing. Try to the best way you can. Now we're here at the power weapons. There's not been really organization with weapons, but I wanted to do the power weapons last. These are the weapons that make you an unstoppable force and an immovable object. The first being the rocket launcher, which is just like Halo CE's rocket launcher. And actually, it's the exact same model of the rocket launcher. The energy sword is our slice and dice, and able to instantly kill people with a stab. But be more careful with this weapon. Sword has an ammo meter, and if the reticle's red, you just fly. The bonk hammer, or gravity hammer, is a brute weapon where you can absolutely just bonk people in the head. You gotta be 
pretty close to them. And even if you don't one-shot them, you still push them back and do a ton of damage. Just shoot them in the head with like a battle rifle. And now we're going to talk about the equipment, grenades, and vehicles. The equipment and Halo Infinite are useful tools for combat that you can use with the press of a button. There's a, the grappling hook, which can grab items, people, and you can eat yourself using the terrain. These threat sensors to scan that, you, that place and scans for enemies. This gives you the ability to Halo 5. The wall makes a wall that temporary cover. That's pretty simple. Repulsor is a neat device that can eat things like people into walls, giving you the pancake metal. Seriously, it's an actual metal that I've gotten. I'm trying to get it again, but there's also overshield and active camo, which are standard Halo power ups. The grenades in Halo are the plasma grenades, which stick to people and instantly kill them. Frag grenade, which is your standard grenade in of matches, is simple, just a regular grenade. Spike grenade is a frag and sticky combination. The disruptor grenades are new grenades that do what the shock rifle and disruptor can do. Now finally, the vehicles. Puma is the standard Halo vehicle with a turret, driver's seat, and a passenger seat. The Mongoose. The Mongoose is a two-seater, and its cousin, the Gun Goose, adds a gun to it. Yay! The tank can fire a shot that explodes like normal tanks and has a regular little turret in the front. The Razorback is like a Puma without a turret. You can store objectives, weapons, your Nintendo DS. The Rocket Puma is a Puma with two rocket launchers of a regular chain gun turret. There's also a Wasp, a flying vehicle that can rain death from above with a little pew pew gun and missiles. There are also banished vehicles. This includes the Chopper, a one seat little motorcycle of death that shoots death. The Banshee can shoot. Plasma and rain down, destruction of the bomb, the ghost is like a grounded banshee, and is hilarious to run over your enemies with. Finally, the Wraith, which is a tank for the Banished that shoots a destructive plasma death explosive ball and has a little plasma turret. Now we've gone over everything, now with a little lesson from Toaster. Uh, the way you can attain these weapons in practice is weapon drills, boot camp, and training mode. Those are my, my suggestions. Now, some weapons definitely need some higher skills, such as the Commando, Pulse Curb, Pulse Carbine. So if you want to get good, eh, have a try to do your best. That was my two cents. Now, if thought this video was helpful, then like the video and comment any tips you have for any of these weapons. And if I missed anything, you should comment. If you think this type of video is helpful, subscribe for more. And this was Toaster using a heat wave, killing a guy named Dave. And I'm out.